we are in Washington DC area and then met a lot of bright people like bright kids over here uh, and then most are most of them are like from Asian background Indian India and China so yeah kids are doing really great right immigrant kids we are like first generation immigrants over here in US they are really doing they are really doing great Yes. Good evening, sir. Malik, hey, sir. Malik. Please unmute, sir. You are on mute. Please. Yeah. Please Good evening to everyone. Rajivji, Namaskar. Namaskar, Namaskar. <laughs> yeah, Malik ji. Yes, okay, Rajivji. Sir. Now your your kids. Yeah. yeah. Please join by your yeah. kids. Yes, Rajivji. Yeah. Yeah. Malik, sir, yeah. Yes, sir. We are in Washington DC. And came here to receive Trisha's Congressional Award. So met a lot of cool. senators over here. Yeah, uh, Ted Cruz, uh, Cardian, a uh, few congressmen. Yeah, I'll send you those pictures. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, very nice. I think we we'll love to uh, see those pictures. Yeah, I'll send it to you, Trisha. You want to talk? See. So today my kids also joined this call. Trisha. Oh. Yep. Okay. Say hi. Yeah, they had already introduced themselves. Yeah. Hello. See, Malikji is like our senior scientist. Oh, wow. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, we are very pleased that you have received such an award. Thank you. So, so what is your ambition in life? That is a very good question. I wish I could answer you at the current moment, but I really don't know. However, I did get accepted to Carnegie Mellon University with a double major in both business as well as robotics. So probably somewhere in the business technology line. And she has, she's running three business right now. Uh -huh. And then one, one of her NGOs name is Teach Her Today. There mm -hmm. are the top 300 kids who is volunteering for her organizations. So, oh, that's so very nice. nice. Yeah. You talk about that PhD. How did you yeah, start? Well, well. Yeah, okay. So just to correct my dad, there's actually 700 volunteers. We have around eight chapters all around the world currently. Um, so how I started was first, there was a full GoFundMe when I was in India. I wanted to help one girl get stationaries. And at the end of the day, I did with my pocket money. And then later on, I came to, back to the United States and I talked about the issues that we're able to find very commonly actually all over India, as well as all over the Middle East itself. From this, we started to make our own missions. We created our own programs, you could say. And then we kept on growing to how it is now. 800 volunteers, we've impacted over 1,000 students. We work in Ukraine, Poland, we work in Jordan, then we also work in India, specifically Bihar as well. We work with the Azad India Foundation. And now we're going to try to work into Nigeria. Yeah. Well, wow, that's uh, she is doing really uh, at this age, she is doing quite big things. Yeah, thanks. I, I surely hope inspired. when she grows, she'll do still bigger things in her life. She got this inf inspiration in, uh, during her Bihar visit. She visited my place in Munger and mm. then saw a few kids. Like, and then she was wondering why these kids are not going to schools. And then they realized, she realized that they don't have any money to go to schools or they don't have money to buy stationaries. So she used her own pocket money to buy gifts for them, like all those stationary items for them. And then later on, when she came, came here in the US and then started her NGO, raised a uh, more than hundred thousand dollars, and then I started sending those kids. Those kids, like all stationary kids, uh, some uh, few companies also sponsored for uh, all technical support, like all different kinds of softwares, including Microsoft, Google, Apple, and Hack Plus. So, oh, yeah. So, see, I partnership with Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Apple. So, 
so based on her volunteer work right she received lifetime presidential award which people get like only if you are get uh, doing 4000 hours you are devoting 4000 hours to your community then you get a lifetime gold medal and then she got a congressional medal yesterday very good i think we are all proud of her actually thanks yeah but uh, if, if she needs that she wants to expand in kolkata i can be of use to her she can use yeah. me as much as she likes yeah 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 definitely she has i think one tied up with uh, azad foundation who is serving in nearby kishanganj area in bihar mm -hmm. yeah so yeah so, oh, oh, that means yeah kishan no but then she can expand also in madhubani region also yes there definitely. i know some people so that uh, if she wants to expand in those areas yeah it's it's possible to do so yeah 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 and then all all the other kids too right like whoever wants to join right they can start their ch uh, chapter over there and then get like we can uh, she can uh, uh, she can recommend for the college and other things and then also recommend for presidential award right? so other kids can also can can join and then uh, work for her and uh, for her organization and get some kind of like international certificates she can issue from here right so if anybody needs any volunteering hours and then she can issue that uh, the certificate which is like highly recognized in the us right now so yeah okay yeah maybe so, so then uh, yeah i i i think she has some website if she can post it in that uh, Yes. thing so we'll see the website and maybe there are many people here who are doing this i know few a couple of people here in my uh, this complex itself where i stay they uh -huh. are doing similar job here actually this uh, providing stationaries and uh, education materials to very poor people here mm -hmm. so uh, yeah. Uh, yeah i think it may be I, but maybe in places like madhubani or darbhanga it might be more useful also in yes, calcutta yes. we have but we have organizations that do this though still many are required but in bihar it's not there much or in jharkhand it's not there much uh, yeah in fact yeah, doing very well yeah she's yeah. she's doing very fine this thing i think it's Thank you. She is doing these things. It's really, we are really proud of her. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah, I put our website in the chat window, and then I also post that in our WhatsApp group. Yeah, maybe one day, someday, I think we will call her to give her a long lecture on what are the things she is doing and how she can expand in India. Yes. Details yeah, that yeah. those things. I think now she should. Uh, yesterday she has got the president's award, so today she must <laughs> enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We are like we are, yeah. So now we are in Washington D.C. Uh, we will start driving towards New York. So next whole week we are in Rochester, Buffalo area, in New York. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's very nice. So, uh, uh, oh, I think already uh, Aryan has raised his hand. I think uh, yes. you want to ask any question. Uh, Aryan, you uh, want to ask any question to? Yes. Uh, does she have an interest for science? Oh. <laughs> yeah, she, she can answer. Yes, I actually have a very big interest in science. What specifically are you interested in? You can unmute, by the way, Aryan. Uh, can you name something that uses composition? Oh no, no, Arya, yeah, no, 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 no. She has interest in science, so yes. let's try to figure out what are the interests she has. No, so you told that you are interested in science. So Arya is wants to know what area, in what way you are interested in science. That is what he's asking, possibly. That's a really great question. So I love space, specifically space exploration. 
I'm very passionate about robotics. Actually, that's what I'm going to be studying in college. I'm also, I absolutely love specifically in the hard sciences section. I like chemistry a lot. Oh, oh that, that's, that's very good. But, but what are the subjects in the school that you are going through? So specifically, I, as I said, I'm doing a double major. So in the robotics, I'm going to have electrical engineering as mm -hmm. our course syllabus, mm -hmm. as well as basics of chemistry, physics, multivariable calculus, and then 3D matrices, mm -hmm. as well as quantum mechanics. And then for the business side, I'll be doing business calculus, economics, microeconomics, then more on um, pitching, speech, interview, etc. Yeah, so of all the science subjects, which subject do you like the most? I would say for me, what I like the most would probably be chemistry, more onto organic chemistry, as well as applied physics in linear algebra. Yeah, so Arian has one more question. What is that question, Arian? I have a simple question. Yes. I have a simple question. Uh, it's a very easy question. How did the universe begin? So actually, I would say that's a very easy question. Right now, scientists are only starting, I believe, 2018. Do they all believe that it's a big bang theory? However, there are multiple different theories that are still going on. It could be by star explosion. It could be by supernova. There's also a theory going on that's being under debate that's from volcanoes. That I don't really believe personally. I do believe in the Big Bang Theory, and that's what scientists are currently believing at this current moment. Okay, that's that's a good answer. Thank you. Do you have any other questions? <laughs> uh, so, I Arian, he studies in class five. But he's he's interested in astronomy, he's interested in physics, and I think he's also interested, like you, in space exploration, etc. Am I correct, Arian? Yes, sir. And uh, I think she also said the that she also like coding. I think so. Correct. I do. Yes. So I have a question. Uh, do you know what is the qubit? Cubic in what way? Cubic as in sort of Python programming, or are you going to say cubic into data structures? Uh, it's it's similar to bi a bit. Okay, then I probably know it, but not by name. Can you repeat it? I probably know what you're stating, but not by name. Because you probably call it by a bit of a different name here. Or if you would use it in a different way. Okay, can I answer that? Yes, of course. Uh, it is a. It's similar like a, a one bit. Uh, what is hmm. the And it's in superposition. Like it can be zero or one at any time. And it is a unit of uh, information in quantum computing. Hmm. That does sound right. A really good job. I learned something new today. Yeah. And Aryan is very bright kid. Like he has also posted a lot of uh, YouTubes, right? Like I, I saw that it's really nice one, Aryan. And then yeah. So Trisha can be your mentor, right? Like uh, she's going to Cardinal Mellon, which is uh, one of the most uh, prestigious mm -hmm. university for STEM, STEM education. Exactly. Yeah. And then oh, they have the really yeah, they have like. Uh, uh, the most you can say modern AI lab, AI and robotics lab uh, in their campus. So that's definitely helpful. And then, right? Okay. And then, uh, Balikji, I, have, I would like to introduce my another daughter, Raina. No. See at Aryan age. Yeah, she is on. She just completed her fifth grade, and will after this summer, she will go to sixth grade. Raina. Hello, Raina. Hello, how are Raina. you? Good. How are you? Louder. Yeah. So you're you're going to class, is it? Yes. So, which subject do you like the most? I like. I have a personal interest in math. 
You're interested in maths? Oh, very nice. So, what what is your ambition in life then? Uh, I want to be an engineer, or more specifically, an architect. They design structures and buildings. Oh, so which engineer you want to become? You want to become aeronautics. You want to make rockets. You want to make planes. You want to make bridges. You want to make houses. What kind of well, engineering you want to do? I haven't really decided yet. I'm still um, seeing what other engineering has. Oh. Very nice. So, uh, now, now you're in class five. And so, what are the questions you have in your mind? Uh, I'm actually in class six. Oh, so you have gone to class six. So, why? Are there some questions in your mind which you want someone to answer you? Any science related questions? Uh, not your, fa that. your father is also an expert for our group. So it's possible he might answer your question, but what's the question you have? Uh, I don't really have any questions. You don't have questions. Right oh, now. you don't have any? Okay. okay. Not right now, but yeah. Yeah, maybe next time you should come up with questions. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> yeah, see, see, Lewis is like when I joined this call, she said just beside me and then listens to everything. She knows Aryan and then Sreya for sure. <laughs> she knows <laughs> these types of questions they are asking. Yeah, so she likes it. And sometimes she comes with me a note like, hey, this could be the answer. She also writes like when I asked Aryan, asked, like, oh, last I time we were doing uh, discussing about. Um, the time, like how much time it, that sun rays takes to come into Earth, like all those things, she was also writing. <laughs> she's, sure, very nice. <laughs> yeah, she's also doing a lot of like coding, and then uh, she also got uh, uh, educational presidential award in education in elementary oh. for academic excellence. Yeah, <laughs> so oh, she's <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, so nice. So, 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 and there is a Shreya also is there in the group. Shreya? Yes, sir. You want to ask any question to Ria? Um, so, let oh. me think once about the universe. No, both of them have got President's Award. So, you want to ask them any question? Hello? Yes, sir. Just give me, uh, give me one minute. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. I'm counting. One, once, one minute is over. <laughs> you have to come up with the question. So, Aryan for uh, for Trisha, right? In her Trisha is called CMU. The first year project was not not for her, but other. Pro uh, Group were working on a project to send a robot at moon in their in their their class they did and they, did they, they sent it one robot. Yeah. Oh. Robot. What's his favorite robot? You asking what's his favorite robot? Yes, yeah, so Sreya, I think Sreya is ready with question. Yes, sir. Um, my question is uh, that uh, um, why do sun have a lot of um, means why the sun is so hot and uh, Firstly, as I know that all the planets were so hot and it cooled down, but uh, why do not sun cool down? Trisha, you want to answer this question? She has asked you. Trisha, Trisha, Raina, why sun is so hot? Why sun is so hot? Why it is not cooling? The planets have cooled. Why the sun is not cooling? I think Raina actually wants to answer it. Raina? Uh, so the reason that the sun is so hot and the others is warm is because the sun is a star made from different gases and the gases are which is hot. It doesn't have any actual surface like the planets do. It doesn't have? It also doesn't have nitrogen which is a cooling gas. And my sister would like to add on. 
<laughs> okay, so to add on to what Varna said, so by itself, the sun is actually a major star that's mainly produced and is composed by helium. Helium has a lot of different outer fire gases, heat gases. However, in most types of most times, the planets usually are composed of around 10 to 15 percent nitrogen, especially when you're going farther and farther away. As you're going to have the solar system, the sun is going to be in the center. And then the farther and farther away the planet is, it goes farther from something known as the Goldilocks position. The Goldilocks position is where Earth is, as well as one other planet known as Planet X, which is actually smaller than Earth. However, when you're going farther and farther away, the sun's rays, light also has a specific area as well as lead that it can reach. So the farther the sun is from the planet, the longer it takes the planet, the sun's rays to hit the planet. But if this occurs, you're not going to have any sort of heat from the sun, as well as the composition already, as there's so much nitrogen, becomes much, much more cooler. So her question was a little different though. She is asking uh, what stars, not about the planet. Like sun is a star, others are also stars, right? It's, so the stars, other stars are getting cooler. Sun at a star is not getting cooler. Okay, but let's see. Now we'll give it to my colleague. <laughs> Yeah, so no, no, actually, what has happened is that because of the huge gravitational mass, the, there is a compression that takes place in the stars. And once you know the compression is there, the pressure increases, and then you have the temperature increase. And once the temperature increases there, the nuclear reaction sets in. And this is the story of all the stars. So that is where Sun is a very young star, actually. So um, uh, the, the temperature is of the order of millions of degrees centigrade. So in the core, the outer one is only about 6,000 degrees centigrade, but the inner core is in millions of degrees of centigrade where the nuclear reaction takes place. And it is mostly helium. Gradually it is converted a little bit to carbon and then to, to higher elements, and it's then that it may start cooling down a little bit. And that is the very sad thing that will happen to us. Once the sun starts cooling, it will start expanding because the mass won't be there to push it, pray, compress it, and then it will expand and it will engulf the whole of Earth and none of us will be alive. So that's the bad story of the sun, but that's that's going to happen after few billion of years. So we need not worry right now. Yeah. But yes, it's sir. going Thank to cool you, down. It's going to cool down after billion of years. Yes, and then the Earth will vanish. It will the Earth will get it engulfed by the sun. Wow. Let it be water. <laughs> the good thing is, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and by the way, Trisha, you know, the very interesting I keep on telling children mm -hmm. is that the light which comes to us, though it takes only eight minutes to come from sun to earth, mm -hmm. but that light was produced about. One lakh years ago inside the sun and by repeated collisions, you know, it comes out and then it takes only eight minutes to reach us. Yeah. And that light is mostly, you know, in the nuclear reaction, first gamma ray is produced and by the elastic collisions, the frequency changes and then you see that light coming out. Yeah. So, and that's uh, that inside it, collision takes place almost for um, few lakhs of years. Wow. Very in interesting story about the light which we get here and you. Yeah. So uh, you must keep in mind. Yes. Yes, Aryan, you have a question to Trisha, is it? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Trisha is getting a lot of questions to you. Yes, sir. So what is the question, sir. Aryan? Does she have any uh, information about star types? Star types. 
What is that? I also don't know what is that. Uh, how many? How many types of stars are there? Uh, like this, these questions about a neutron star, dwarfs, etc. So I actually don't know, but I really do think that's a great question. I want to be completely transparent. I just searched it up myself. Um, there are seven main types of stars: the O, B, A, F, G, K, and M. I'm pretty sure you could also search it up yourself and do your own research, but I know for a fact that after this call, I'll be doing my own research because I do have an interest in this. Okay. Um. Do you know what type of a star? What type of star is the sun? What type of star is the, the sun? Maybe that it's a medium type star. Like uh, in which category? A, B, C, D, O, L, uh, like these? I, a G type. That's star, which is five thousand to six thousand. Yes. Uh, it's a, a G two V star, where G two stands for the second order stars in the G yellow class, and V stands for dwarf stars. Wow, oh. that's good. Yeah. So you have your eleven topic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something for young kids, Trisha and Ria and Arian. So one of the uh, see, Raina is correcting that says Raina. <laughs> oh, Raina, right. <laughs> one of the biggest questions which we are facing as physicists is the dark matter and the dark energy. The dark energy is responsible for the expansion of the universe. As you I think it is now taught taught in schools. I learned in USA. In India still it is it has been found in the books. But the, I found in the USA, the, by, by class 10, children are aware yes. about it, that the universe is expanding. Correct. But this expansion is due to dark energy, which, which we still don't know what it is. So still it is dark. But the expansion of the universe cannot take place without darkness. But we still have to figure out. So you young people, you are given this job to find out what is this dark matter and dark energy. It's a, a question. I think next few years, all the scientists and all the young people will be working on. Interestingly, Malik ji, yes. two days ago, we went to the planetarium and then we saw this documentary about dark energy. Achha, That's what <laughs> yeah. So we had uh, Aryan like uh, in Washington, D.C. Right? We have a big uh, uh, air and space museum where we saw all this from starting, right? Like Wright brothers, when they built that uh, airplane, right? they, they started, right? Like the building of the airplane, everything from scratch, like which material they used. They are like uh, the aircraft which they built the first, it's there in that museum. So all the things from there till dark energy went. So it was really fascinating to see all those stuff. Oh, guys. No, in USA, the museums are really very good and it's quite informative. Yes. See, all the children in the schools, you know, at least you see like they, why the day, day and night takes place, why the seasons take place, why there is the, the climate change and all these things, you know. I found museums are there in USA which explain to young people. Yes. But in India, we don't have it. So that is a very bad. Uh, yeah. Recently in Darbhanga, they opened a museum, but I found it's a too elementary. Uh, uh, our young children, they see in their daily lives so that they can understand things. But in USA, you have a lot. In UK, I found really huge number of museums dealing with these issues. Yes. So, but, but you, you'll be going to New York and then from there? Yeah, from there actually we are driving. We'll go to New York and then from there we will go back to Houston on weekends. So we'll drive. It's like 22 hours drive from there. In Houston, in the University of Texas, there is a gentleman who makes models. He's an Indian. He makes models of these, you know, these 
planetary motions and things like that. I don't remember his name. So he wanted that people should buy his things, oh. but I lost contact with him. Yeah. But he's in University of Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then NASA is there too, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. One of his office, their offices is in Houston too. Yeah. Yes. You are in so you are in Houston only, isn't it? Yes, we are in Houston. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I once I went to Houston. Oh. Uh, one of my friend, he is a radiation physicist in that Anderson Hospital. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's still there. Uh, I gave a talk on what is happening in accelerators in India, and I, I was surprised. <laughs> it was a physics topic, but I found many doctors attended that lecture. Wow. And actually, they were surprised that there are accelerators in India. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> My friend now he is there. He is the head of the radiation physics in an oh. hospital. Nice. We, we were college mates. We studied together. I had been just to his house about oh, three, okay. four years back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So we have a big uh, from here in Houston. Houston and nearby suburbs, right? There are more than hundred families from Bihar. Oh, so we have a big group over here. Yeah, called Bihar Association of North America. So we have a big group over here. Oh. <laughs> उसमें आप लोग क्या करते हैं जब गेट टुगेदर होता है तो हां नहीं हमारा है फोर इवेंट्स लाइक वी गो फॉर कैंपिंग वी डू कल्चरल फेस्ट राइट ऑल दिस म्यूजिक डांस एंड एवरीथिंग सो लास्ट ईयर वी प्लेड ड्रामा आई वाज प्लेइंग अ रोल ऑफ चाणक्य बिफोर दैट वी हैड विद्यापति जी लाइक या सो आई आल्सो Did that bhajan of Vidya Pati songs? Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of yeah. Yeah, my daughter she is also singing. Yes, she also she is also participated. She played the uh, role of Vidya Pati's daughter. Oh, okay. Now Ugna Mahadev. Yeah, yeah, that that uh, was like. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're like yeah, skit Ugna Mahadev and then we do lot of lot of stuffs and then we also do the Academy Fest, uh, which will happen like in August first week. It's not only for Bihar, like, uh, for other countries also participate. Not only for India, but other country also participate. From kindergarten to twelfth grade, uh, we do some kinds of competition. So uh, our organization is well known over here for that those kinds of activities. We also celebrate our Holi and then yeah, lot of lot of things. And then we so, meet people at Bihar like they are really well settled over here for long, right? Uh, All of them are from Harvard, Stanford, so all big universities. So they are really doing well over here. So we, we have really nice group. So, so sometimes so I will also invite them to this call. Like uh, we have uh, uh, one person, uh, Dr. Santosh Sharma. He did from IIT, and then uh, from Stanford, his son is doing uh, from MIT, PhD from MIT. Oh, on solar energy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, he did from uh, uh, Harvard graduation from Harvard, and then is uh, Cambridge for MS, and then not doing PhD on the solar panels. This is very good. That's very good. Yeah. So, uh, Pankaj ji, we have a Shravan and uh, Omprakash ji. They are keeping quiet. Mahesh ji. Yes, sir. Now, now two kids join from Sivakarti. <laughs> oh, is it? Yes, sir. We have Shravan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am in a group and sir, yes, sir. I am in a group and listen carefully. Sir, right now, I am going to duty, so I am in bus. So night shift. I go to the night shift. And what about Shravan ji? So Sivani, please say something about yourself, Sivani. No, uh, yeah, Shivani is there. Yeah, very. Yeah, please. Yes, yes. Yes, Shivani, please say something about yourself. My name is Shivani Kumar. I am nine years old. I read in class three. I read in school, New Delhi Public School. 
My father's name is Jyoti. My father's name is Ravan. So Ravan Jha. My mother's name is Nitesh Mona Jha. My father's is Job. My mother's is Housewife. My favorite subject is science. I live in Tirupati. My favorite color is pink. My best friend's name is Sachi Kumar. Very good. Very good. And who else are there? Yes, Julie. Please say something about yourself. Julie? Yes, sir. My uh, name is Julie Kumari. Yes. My father's name is Mrs. Miss. Mr. Bhavishcha, my man, Mrs. Kavita Devi. In Sipati, I did last time. My school name is Plus Two, Plus Two Janta High School, Belvoir. My my father's. Yeah, you are in which class? So, what is your favorite subject? Hindi. So you don't like science? Do you like science? Hello? Yes, sir. Do you like science? No, sir. Why? Is it very difficult? Is science very difficult? No, sir. Then why you don't like it? Because if you study science, then you can do very, very big things. You get a good job. You get a. You can become very famous. Then you you can understand many things around you. So. And who else are there? Pankaji? Yes, sir, what's the name? Navinji is, Navin is not saying anything. Yes, sir, good Navin evening, sir. Father of, yes. Father of Aryan, Aryan, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, How are you, sir? How is going on? Right, going on well. Yes, so now I am in the Jaisalmer location. Here, 55 degrees Celsius is going on. Recently, Aryan is also visited. Oh, yes. So, so uh, are, there, you are, tourists? are there tourists in Jaisalmer? No, no. Nowadays, no any tourist. But I am doing jobs. <laughs> That's why I'm here, and as well as uh, Aryan is a vacation, so he just visited the previous week, and after that he started one of the uh, what is Sunday? Actually, he's taking some session with the kids, so he is he is studying in sixth class, so nine to ten early morning <laughs> oh. with presentation also. Yes, very good. Yeah, you have you have any question, Sriya? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, last time when we joined the meeting, uh, actually, uh, Rajesh sir and Shankaran sir uh, told us to uh, make a PPT of some topic. Make a PPT of some topic. Yes, in last session. Yes, right, 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 right. Regarding PPT, PPT, sir. Yes. You prepared any any PPT, Sriya? Yes, sir. Yes. Can you can you share with all of us and can you explain? Yeah, you prepared any PPT? Yes, sir. Yes. Please share and explain. Okay. 
சொல்லி மலிக் சார் லாஸ்ட் செஷன் எஸ் லாஸ்ட் டு கிட்ஸ் எஸ் சார் சோ தி பிரிபேர் வித் ஒன் பிபிடி யா சோ திஸ் இஸ் பிரசன்டட் எஸ் 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 சரியா Yes, sir. You, you can you can uh, present uh, here. Yes. Now I see. Yes. Yeah, from your background, sound is very. Okay, now it's okay. Okay, sir. Can I start? Yes, sir. So my topic was about the earth. and so let us learn um what is earth earth is the only planet where life is possible formation of the earth earth was formed by collision of particles in a large cloud of material these particles and dust and gas um form the longer span uh evolution of lithosphere our earth was in a volatile state The density and temperature of Earth was continuously increasing. As a result, as a result, the material inside started getting separated. Depending on the density, heavy material like iron tends towards the center of the Earth and lighter ones to move towards the surface. The passage of time, the passage of time, may cool further and further the fire and condenses. to in smaller size the crust starts developing during the formation of moon the giant black earth was uh, heated up the process of uh, differentiation plays and again the earth started to evolve uh and then evolution of atmosphere and uh, atmosphere and hydrosphere atmosphere is a mixture of gases that surround the earth the average amount of gas is present in nitrogen and oxygen at present atmosphere evolution are in three stages they are loss of primordial atmosphere uh, in this in the starting of the earth in the atmosphere gases like hydrogen and helium were present you know solar wind and gases like helium and hydrogen were not present and started to fly the hot interior of the earth contributed to the evolution of the earth the exterior of earth was of the earth was hot uh, because of the gasing took place in the hot gas was of course as a water vapor at that time continuous volcanic eruption contributed water vapor and gases to the atmosphere and in phase three now photosynthesis was modified carbon dioxide is present in the atmosphere slowly in water the amount of micro plants and micro organisms started coming slowly in water uh, micro organisms and micro plants started coming and exhale oxygen at the same the amount of plants increases So the amount of oxygen increased. As uh, we discussed, that the water vapor was was upward, then water cycle took place in the atmosphere, in the uh, in the in the atmosphere part. Uh, we discussed it. The carbon dioxide in the atmosphere was dissolved in the water, and the temperature for the decrease caused the more condensation and more rain. The rainfall got collecting and then absorbed um, from the formation of the earth. And a large stage uh, is origin of life. Firstly, life was originated in the ocean, and then the molecules started combining and it started growing large and more bigger. So then, around three thousand eight hundred million. Thus, the food due to unitary organism, the evolution of the man started. So, thank you.
this was my explanation i hope you all have understood very nice very nice sir yeah. very good presentation you have made lot of things to learn thank you sir very nice presentation acha by the way shreya the everything that you have said you have understood each of them yes sir very good that's good uh, aryan you have any question to shreya on this no sir so you have understood everything that she said ditin ja yes. you have any question ditin ja Mrityunjo, you can ask also probing question to Shreya. Yes, Shreya is giving a question to Shreya. Sir, probing question means by you know sometimes we ask a question. that we roughly know the answer but we don't know the full answer so we probe the speaker that whether the speaker knows the answer or not so that is called a probing question p r o b i n g got it sir she has made a very good collection of the facts thank you sir and there is one more thing i will add which is there in today's newspaper the inside core which is there that liquid core that rotation rotation is gradually slowing down to today's newspaper you must have Yes, sir. But sir, even we another news news has come. I think it's uh, three days old. Bacteria uh, brought the ISS. Where Sunita Williams is staying now? He's been staying for six months. Space bug. Space bug. In sense, they call the bacteria a bug. It's actually mm -hmm. bacteria. Mm -hmm. uh, it is resistance to multi. drugs multiple antibiotics oh oh i see I it has mutated to a uh, resistance to multiple antibiotics and that is posing a threat in the station right now it is however contained as of now and now yeah, sunita wants team uh, team is there in the iss yes so all of you at your home no i think people use make a reckless use of antibiotics थोड़ा सर्दी होता है एंटीबायोटिक्स खाते हैं एंटीबायोटिक्स इज मेन फॉर बैक्टीरिया नॉट फॉर वायरस वेन यू गेट कोल्ड इट्स मोस्टली वायरल कोल्डीबायोटिकन इज दैट इफ यू यूज मोर एंड मोर ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक्स द ऑर्गेनिजम विल बिकम रजिस्टेंट टू एंटीबायोटिक्स this is the biggest crisis that you know most of the antibiotics which we have the or many of the organisms have got uh, you know resistant to it i will tell you a very small story of my friend my friend he he child got sick and his mother what she used to do whenever he used to get cold She used to put in um, this uh, penicillin drop. She used to give him. Okay, he became uh, gradually resistant to that penicillin, so that when he caught a disease, uh, some disease which he caught, which can be cured only by penicillin, and the doctors found that it's not working on him, and he died. The child died. so we all have to be you see don't make reckless use of antibiotics cold if it is a viral there is no medicine for viral by the way i we do, we are yet to devise a medicine for virus 
गोल्ड जब होता है वो तो वायरल होता है बट पीपल स्टार्ट टेकिंग एंटीबायोटिक्स बिफोर टेकिंग एंटीबायोटिक्स यू मस्ट कंसल्ट ए डॉक्टर बिहार में तो हम देखें किसी दुकान में जाइए यू कैन बाय एंटीबायोटिक्स बिना प्रिस्क्रिप्शन के ही आप खरीद सकते हैं लोकल डॉक्टर ऑल्सो प्रिस्क्राइब द कोल्ड ग्रीन एंड द सेट्रोक्सिन लुक लाइक मेडिसिन या आई थिंक कंट्रोल द इनोजिया एंड कोल्ड नो यू इफ योर शोर दैट इट इज बैक्टीरियल देन नो यू टेक एंटीबायोटिक्स बट इट इज वायरल देन नो यू हैव नो इफेक्ट but what will happen is that these organisms they will become resistant this rampant use of antibiotics is really you know all the research has to be carried out to find out new antibiotics now because most of antibiotics people are, have used it so much that they they have become resistant to it who knows tomorrow i might suffer because of that So, sir, what is the remedy for the uh, what is the remedy for when we affected from the virus that like, uh, cold and you know why actually virus there is no remedy for virus but what the because of the virus if you get a secondary infection then there is a medicine for that but just for virus there is no medicine like say you had this covid it is a virus there is no medicine but you can have what you call vaccines against the virus but there is no medicine at all actually but secondary infection jo hota hai so the virus you get bacterial infection ho jata hai secondary hota hai then you have to take medicine for antibiotics you take तो एंटीबायोटिक्स फॉर एवरीथिंग एक दिन का कोल्ड है डोंट वेट फॉर टू फ्यू आवर्स यू नो एटलीस्ट थ्री डेज फोर डेज उसी से फीवर होता है तो हम लोग डर जाते हैं फीवर तो डिफेंसिव मैकेजम है बॉडी का वो जो ही इन्फेक्शन समथिंग एंटर्स यू नो द बॉडी फीवर टेम्परेचर सो दैट the temperature becomes too high then there is a break up of molecules so that you should avoid so until 101 or 2 is okay fahrenheit yes sir yes. yes. i uh, we are knowing about the uh, six months ya uh, one year ago you know that the why the fever is coming basically we are doing the fever in the problem but uh, right now the fever is a symptom right now we are no about the fever is a symptom hmm. just correct the correct the virus and get the reaction body that's why coming over yeah. या चलिए पंकज जी तब तो आई थिंक नाउ इट्स टाइम टू से गुड बाय टू ऑल ऑफ यू यस सर नाउ इट्स अ 9 पी एम या यस सर यस सर ओके बाय एंड गुड नाइट टू एवरीवन Good night. 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 Good night.